Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about strength ratings in climbing gear. So on carabiners, on quick draws, uh, slings, anything that's designed to load bear, there will be a strength rating on it and that's important. I'll show you why in a moment. So this uh, piece of dynamo here, in between these carabiners, if you look at the little black label there, it says 22KN. That's quite typical for a piece of dynamo. So what does 22KN actually mean and why should we care? Well, a KN stands for a kilonewton. Now, a kilonewton is just a unit of force. No one really thinks in kilonewtons, but we can approximate it to 225 pounds of force or 100 kilograms of force. That's kind of what it calculates to. So now this can hold 22. So what does that mean? It means that it can support a load of 4,950 pounds of force or 2,200 kilograms of force. That's an incredible amount. And what I mean is that if you were to just gradually hang that weight on this sling here, it can support that weight probably for a long time. Now it has to be rated to 22 kilonewtons meaning that it has to support that weight for at least a few minutes before failing. But in reality, you know, the slings can often last a very, very long time, not just a couple of minutes. Um, that's how well they're made these days. Now, why should we care? I mean, 22 kilonewtons, you know, it's so strong. What could possibly go wrong? Well, remember I said that this is a rating which refers to the weight gradually loaded onto the sling but that doesn't include shock loading. What is a shock load? Basically means if you attach a weight to the end of the sling, you know, you raise it up and then bang, you just drop it, okay? That would be, mean that the force is suddenly introduced into the system. So let's say you attach a, like a, a metal weight onto the end of the sling, that uh, measures say 100 kilograms. Okay, if you raise that up, okay, and then drop it, what will be um, what will be occurring on this sling here? It won't be a hundred kilograms of force. It'll be many, many times that because it's a shock to the system, okay? So instead of a hundred kilograms of force being exerted on the sling, it could be anything up to a thousand kilograms, okay? And that's just me raising it up to the other carabiner. So that'd be a full factor of, what, one, okay? If I was to raise it above the carabiner like so, and then drop it the full way down like so until it locks into place and catches the weight, that would be a fall factor of two. Basically, the greater the fall, the greater the shock load. Okay, there's no sort of energy absorption in this dynamo sling here, okay? Dynamo doesn't stretch very much. Now, in reality, when we're climbing, what are we using? We're using a harness, we're using our bodies, okay, which absorb shock, unfortunately. We're using um, the climbing rope, which stretches a huge amount. So, you know, when we're using climbing rope, there really isn't any need to worry too much about the strength rating of gear, but it has to be there and it's important, okay? Many climbers have unfortunately fallen and become injured because they simply clip into an anchor system with a dynamo daisy chain and then they fall on that daisy chain and, you know, the daisy chain breaks. And it's because they didn't really appreciate that the strength ratings there are important and they're, you know, for information, but they're also a warning sign. Don't shock load this piece of gear. Yes, it can hold 22 kilonewtons, which is an incredible amount, but it's, that's referring to a static load, okay? So whenever you buy a new piece of gear, just check out the strength rating and make sure you're safe. Thanks for watching and for more videos like this, check out obsessionclimbing.com. Thanks for watching.